guys, it's me, Kimberly, coloring art lover Baez, coming at you with a weekend combined haul from mostly Dollar Tree and a couple items that I bought at my Hobby Lobby this weekend. So I'm going to get started with the non-arts and crafts stuff. Well, kind of non-arts and crafts, but we'll start with the non-arts and crafts stuff. So the first thing I picked up was two packages of the mermaid nail clippers I already opened this one and used it and they work really well <clears throat> I really like them so I had been looking for them for a couple of days now and I was just about to leave the Dollar Tree that I was at when I decided to check the area over by the registers <clears throat> sorry so yeah so then the next thing I got was from Greenbrier. It is a four in one color, it's a four color pen plus stylus. So you get blue, green, red, and black. Here is the area where the um, ball is and the tip comes out here. It also has this comfort grip. They had another color. I don't remember which one it was, but um, it's meant for touch screen also. And it is compatible with my phone, so this is how you know it's a Greenbrier product. Okay? So that's that. Um, the next items are more stationary than arts and crafts. So let's get with the pads that I bought first. So I found this one. This is the adulting pad. Then they had the donut, donut forget one. And then the last one was hashtag goals. I found these also by the register on the way out the door. So that's that. Um, in another video that I'm also that I'm, um, I did. I found the, um, it is from Three Bird Studio, the stationary planner series. They had the sheets and stuff that I put in my binder already. And there was some stuff missing, obviously, that they didn't have at that store. So I went to another store and they had this one, which is the password pads, where you can you put your username and your password. I picked up two of those oh and you can put also the website name on there and the web address so it's two of those then I picked up the ruler that comes with it I thought this was really cute it's six inches long I believe or seven inches maybe seven inches so that's that and then I picked up the elastic book band which says dreams for days okay so that's that and then I picked up only one of the task pads so it says errands chores appointments and miscellaneous and in each of these you get 50 but in the um, set of sheets for the bind for the planner itself you only get 30 then I picked up three of the border stickers you get two full sheets and it says get it girl let's do this so happy and wonderful so one two and three so that's all of those that's the stationary stuff oh and also from the stationary section I found two of these the decorative tapes um, I just found one lying down and then one on a peg, so I grabbed them both. They're the same design. I know they had other designs, but this was all I found for now. So that's that. Now, moving on to a DIY project that I want to do um, for my niece, who's having a baby boy in June, her son's room is going to be decorated with baby elephants so I figured that I 
could um, do something with this, like maybe paint his name across it. So I bought some paints that I'm going to share with you. I know it's a little blemished here, but it was the only one that actually didn't really look as bad as the other ones. And then I picked up this one, which is the Black Horse. Again, this is the one that was the least damaged, but I'm going to actually paint over this. Um, I like the horse because for me, I was born in the year of the horse for my Chinese Zodiac. So I'm just going to take that off. So that's that for those two DIYs that I'm going to do. Um, then in the... I could have sworn I could put two of these. Oh, there it is. Okay. So for the art supplies now from Dollar Tree, the first things I picked up <clears throat> were two sets of the MP Tech um, mechanical pencils. So you get, it looks like a reddish pink, orange, and blue, and then another blue, and then gray and like this bronzy colored one or copper color. It is 0 0.7 millimeters and you get three in each pack. It has a comfort grip and it says cool grips. Um, it's from Greenbrier, obviously. Um, I bought those to help me with maybe some drawing. Um, since, it was, since it's Mother's Day, or it was Mother's Day rather, Mother's Day is almost over. Um, I decided I'm going to do a little project for my mom and send it to her in the mail. So I picked up this little three pack of canvas panels and I picked up two of them. So I'm going to do a little something on one and paint it and send it to her in the mail. It is good for acrylic and oil paints. It is supposed to be 100% natural cotton canvas. It is 4 inches by 6 inches or 10 centimeters by 15 centimeters. So, with that being said, the last thing I bought from Dollar Tree's art stuff was these um, paper craft artist watercolor pencils. Um, I'd seen their regular pencils and I was going to pick up the neon set, but I decided against it. I wanted to try these, but it looks like getting these out is a pain. So, okay, I won't even try opening them right now. So now I'm going to move on to my Hobby Lobby haul. So I only picked up three things from there. I wanted to see if they had put any other stuff on clearance, and the answer is no. But they did have some stuff that wasn't there last time. I don't know, maybe somebody um, returned it. I don't know. But I picked up two of the Bria Reese Heavy Body Acrylic Paints. They have, I think this one's called Mars Black, if I'm not mistaken. Um, hold on. Well, that's Mars Black. And this one, I believe, is cadmium yellow. Yeah, this is cadmium yellow. Okay. And the other one is Mars Black. Sorry about that. So that's those two. And then the last thing I picked up, um, it's a new product that um, Hobby Lobby came out with. It is from their Fine Touch series. And it is this. It is the acrylic paint pots, it's called. You get 18 colors. And in it, you also get a paintbrush. So I picked this up to experiment with acrylic paints without going crazy, you could say. It originally retails for $9.99. I used my 40% off and I got it for $5.99 plus tax. So this plus the two heavy acrylic paints from Brea Reese came out to less than $10 for everything. So 
you guys that is the end of my haul for tonight i want to thank you all for watching my video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel don't forget to hit that little bell icon at the bottom to let you know when i upload future videos and please don't forget to give this video thumbs up likes comments and if there's anything you want to see or product swatches of any products that i've had in other videos that you've seen from my hauls please let me know i will be posting um a massive series of hobby lobby hauls from when they had clearances i have the videos i just haven't had a chance to upload stuff this whole week so with that being said you guys bye have a great night and see you in my next video bye